Poor, poor Eddie. John, you're late for your own father's funeral. I overslept. <laughs> it's going to be all right, honey. It's going to be all right. Mrs. Smetty, it's Smedley, it's Gus Gennetti. I worked with poor Eddie down at, down at the plant. What a shock. Oh, boy. All the guys down at the plant, they're all mortified. <laughs> they're just mortified, you know? I want to tell you. Well, I read about it this morning in the paper. Oh, I couldn't believe it. Didn't say how he went, Mrs. Smedley. How did poor Eddie go? He got his head stuck in a gallon can of pork and beans. <laughs> Mrs. Smedley, uh, Johnny already told us what happened to your husband. <laughs> but seriously, Mrs. Smedley, it's a real crime. Somebody should look into this. Yeah, like the Pure Food and Drug Administration. <laughs> you know, uh, making a bean can the size of a man's head. They should put a warning on the label. That's it, I'm out of here. I'm gone. I'm, I'm Johnny, gone. Come on. you stay here with your father and mother. What kind of a father is that, huh? John, your father loved you. If he loved me, why do you have to do a thing like that to me, huh? What kind of legacy is that to leave a son? I'm gonna have a bean can hanging over my head the rest of my life. You know how I heard about it? You know how I heard about it? I was in school. They announced it over the PA system. Please stay seated. I'll only say a few words. I think the memory of Eddie's death will be with us forever. I just don't think about it. But sometimes I can't help remembering that night. We were sitting in the living room watching television, and Eddie said to me, You relax, dear, I'll fix dinner. When he 
said his last words. I think there's some beans. I'll look. I heard strange noises coming out of the kitchen. So I went in to see what was going on. And there was Eddie with the bean can on his head. Hitting his head against the refrigerator. I tried to get him over to 